Pendleton Community Center, Mills on Wheels Senior Place, and we are inviting all the folks in the Pendleton area to come and see our facility that we are um, hosting our events in and um, starting our congregate dining on Thursday. Well, tell me what kind of things people will be able to experience here. Right. So the senior place is for folks who are 60 and above who are still able to get out and about and they can come here at the, the Pendleton Community Center for activities. So it will be open on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Part of that will be a nutritious meal provided by Meals on Wheels Anderson, as well as there will be activities throughout the month um, that are planned by our coordinator which would be exercise programs, education programs for nutrition, uh, fun activities. Um, I know she's got some things planned for the fall so that people have decorations for their home for the fall. So it's just a great way to come out and uh, have camaraderie with senior folks and um, get a good meal and enjoy themselves. And how many of these senior centers do you have now? We have a site in West Pelzer, we have a site in Honeypath, we have a site, site in downtown Anderson's at St. Paul, and here in Pendleton is our next site to open. So Meals on Wheels Anderson serves the home delivered meals program by serving a hot nutritious meal to those people who are not able to get out of their home. They're seniors, they are homebound, and um, can't prepare their own meals. And so we have about 675 people that we serve on a daily basis, that home delivered meal. In addition, we um, are provided this funding through the Appalachian Council of Governments to create for the congregate dining sites. And then we also do lawn care for some folks through the Appalachian Council of Governments. And tell people how they can help if they, they like what y'all are doing. So if you would like to be a donor to Meals on Wheels, you can contact our office or you can go to our website. It's acmow.org. Or you, uh, if you would like to be a volunteer with our program, we are always looking for new volunteers to help deliver our home delivered meals. So you can also contact the office or go to our website. And our website is changing. It's now mealsonwheelsanderson.org. So you can still find us at either, um, either ones that I've mentioned. We're real excited for the Pendleton location of the Senior Place. Uh, we are joining hands with the Pendleton Community Center. The Board of Directors has been so gracious to offer this site to us to be able to host our senior program here. They're going to have other activities here as well, but we are just very excited that the Senior Place for Mills on Wheels Anderson is able to be here and serve the senior community in Pendleton. Mills on Wheels does several fundraisers throughout the year to support our program. The next event coming up for us is our Oyster Roast. It's going to be on October the 26th. Tickets are available online at our website or again you can come into our office to pick those tickets up um, and we would love to have you join us for All You Can Eat Oysters, Low Country Boil and Brunswick Stew. Of Pendleton. All right. First of all, tell me about this new partnership you have with Meals on Wheels. Yes, yeah, we're proud to uh, partner with Meals on Wheels of Anderson. Uh, we will be working with them to provide services to the senior citizens in this area. And uh, they're really good at it. They have a good history, so we're inviting everyone to come out. We're gonna, they're going to be offering everything from meals to activities, educational sessions, uh, you name it. This is just a small part of all the things y'all do here. Remind people about the community center and all the things y'all do here. Yes, community center, we're pretty broad. We, uh, during the summer, we have uh, summer camps for kids. That, that's coming back. During the year, we have, of course, tutorial services. Uh, we have uh, our seniors come here as well to have their, their individual activities. Uh, we have a youth program that one of the local churches are helping us with. And we have uh, also classes and things to help adults and just to give good advice, voter registration, you name it. We do a little bit of all of it. And how can people find out more about it and how can they be involved in what you're doing here? Yes, please go to our website, uh, Pendleton Community Center, 
and you can um, it'll have our address, our email, donation opportunities as well.